and be able to be adaptable to the changing conditions. What's at stake? You want to eliminate, uh, avoid that elimination round. So third place to that elimination round. Here's our matchup. Jordy Smith, Leo Fioravanti, and Kolohe and Dino out in this heat 11 of 12 in this opening round. Came back with vengeance. So he's looking good to make the cut already with a second in his ranking. Kolohe and Dino swinging that mayhem through his paces there. Nice opening hack for Andino. And now a little busy work on the inside here, trying to make a little bit of a connection. That wave goes dead into the deep water. But Chloe Andino first on the board. We'll be waiting for that score for Andino. Yeah, taking off here, Chloe. Really nice bottom turn there. Beautiful slash off the top. You know, looking really fast and loose. Uh, right here, he's just kind of hunting, searching for that double up. Doing that hop that they were talking about earlier. Squared off the bottom. You can see so much, so much spray he got on that turn. I, l I love the way he just... On the stringer. So in, his, in, the, in the surfer's mind, thought he was riding his same old dimensions, but the shaper tweaked it up a little bit and then wondering why that board went so magic. Christian Bradley's the board underneath Leo Fioravanti's feet right now. And this is going to be the first... Way before the surfer representing Rome, Italy. Fioravanti, just a couple of S turns uh, through some sections there. That's going to be his opening number. Let's take another look at it, Megs. Yeah, looks like Leo has a nice little section here. Really nice, beautiful arc there. Pucks back into the whitewash. Kind of just trying to set something up here, but unable to really kind of find anything more on that wave for Leo. Here's a big guy, Jordy Smith with a beautiful swoop, the South African. Setting up on this inside double up, snaps that Smith Shapes board up into the lip. It's looking loose. Wants a little bit more on the inside. It's not gonna get it, but some quality turns out the back. Here he is with his first effort. Yeah, beautiful first turn there. Beautiful arc. You can see his just transition is so smooth. Powerful, very minimal effort though from his part, but it just looks really, really well thought out. Really like this turn here. As you can see, all the power there on his inside rail, just cutting back. He just has, he just stamps that with authority, you know. Still waiting for that score. Kolohe Andino opened up with 3.83. Andino on his second wave here. Carves through that opening turn. Wave steepens up. Double pump bottom turn, attacks the oncoming section, throwing the fins, meeting power with power, and now he's calling for a pickup by our Red Bull jet ski. Taking it all the way in, maybe have a second chance here at Val's. Yeah, it looks like he's just trying to squeeze everything he can out of that. I'm sorry, uh... Callanan was much more involved in his warm-up than uh, very easy going for Connor. So two different approaches in the inside here in the uh, Red Bull athlete zone. And Dino with the lead right now and on the hunt for another ride. He's third in priority, so just surfing on the priority. Here goes brother. Around the corner. Throws the air, throws a tail, reverts out of it. That's some exciting stuff for the surfer out of San Clemente, Colohe and Dino. We'll be back with the conclusion of heat number 11, opening round right after this. It's the ad adaptability, right? So that, you know, the surfers have to come through. We've got an aerial view here flying by. We'll see if we have any takers. Oh, and Dino staying busy. Here he goes. Wave number four for Colohe and Dino. Big fin throw hack, a little slide on the end there. Backing up into the white water, looking for a double up. Maybe a connection into Val's Reef. He's gonna have to hippity hop through these sections. Board looking smooth under his feet. Here he goes, he's gonna stand up on this inside reef. Well done, Kolohe and Dino. Well done, Kaipo. That wave was put together insanely, especially after that air. Let's take another look at this one. I think this is gonna help his cause. Yeah, he, right here he's trying to set himself up for this huge power tail stomp right there. Big turn, a lot of spray off those fins. And then he sets himself up, up here inside valves and just times it perfectly off the lip there. And that's not easy to do there 
Um, as you can see, this turn here, just look at how controlled that is. Just a huge tail slide. Um, manages to hang on there, just puts his arm in the wall, uh, and then finds this reform section in the Val's Reef and just really keeps it together there because that's easy. It's so shallow there, easy to get bucked off on the inside. Reads the water well, doesn't he? Just uh, knows there's going to be a connection here, and this is going to be a big bonus for Kaloi. That finish, and it did help his call. That's nice to see the father and son combo being successful right now. They'll fear Avanti with priority. Here we go. Has to just do a cut back into the power source. Here we go, standing up. Have a soft snap there. So Fervanti is going to want a little bit more on the inside. He's currently in third place, but just a 1.24 will bring him into second. So he's got the job done there, but he really wants a meaningful score. Again, he's going to milk it all the way through, but not as much opportunity on the valve section for Leo Fervanti on this way. Jordy Smith, the South African. Big car from the big man. Right back into the power source. Slashes off the top, a little bit release on the back end of that turn. Staying smooth on the rails, decides not to go and chase the reform. Can even sometimes trick guys into waves. Well, there's no defense right now because Leo did get that wave, but he's gonna have to surf his heart out on this one for a 5.87 is the requirement. Didn't see it on the outside. Looking at his watch, realizes that he may come up short. Going left, brother, no harm, no foul. He'll remain in the lead, 45 seconds counting down. Yeah, Kaipo, Jordy had that first huge turn, and that was a big factor um, in getting that 5.27. So I think Leo, it's going to be hard for him to get the score. Smith is maybe just going to take this one into the beach and be successful in advancing out of the opening round. A 6.16 at this point will take Jordy into the lead both first and second advance but if Jordy does get the score it will help his seeding into the round of 32 so we'll see if he got that done we'll be waiting for the scores last of Jordy Smith that was really well surfed by Jordy and look he's not done yet he's going all the way all the way to Vows he doesn't want to just make the heat he wants to win the heat yeah it gives you that that extra confidence right Kaipo that boost yeah and, yeah, and this year, 2023, actually, it does help you because it will help his seeding in the round of 30. Kolohe and Dino wins, and we're going to see Leo Firavanti in the elimination round this afternoon. We'll be back after this break.